Welcome to the pizza party. In this video, we're going to make a Quez form in Svelte Kit. And I'm going to make it a little bit fancier because I'm going to make a Quez form component near the end to speed up kind of replicating multiple Quez forms on your site. So let's do it. All right. So currently, I just set up this Quez form account. And let's just go through the steps of setting up a, a new website, a new form. So I'll call this Svelte Kit Test. And I'll call the form Contact. And let's go through these steps. The first thing we need to do is install Quest Forms. Um, I'm actually going to install it with PM PM because I have that set up on my site currently. Um, you know, I actually want to install that as a dev dependency. So I'm just gonna move this quest form up here. And I'll just uh do an npm install or pmpm install. And save that first and do that. All right, cool. So after we install the npm package, we need to import quest forms. We need to do that in the script. Import quest forms, and then we just need to init. Um, you know, I'm not sure if I need to do this on mount. I feel like I should do it on mount, so that's what I'm gonna do. So to do this, I'm gonna import on mount. And I think that's just from spell. Find out. Um, then I need to run this on mount. So on mount. And I need to run questforms.init. And let's keep going. So I already have a form. So it looks like I need this quest form class on it. And I can just put that right next to the tailwind classes. Um, I forgot to mention, this is a fresh install of Spellkit, just with the uh, just with a fresh install of Tailwind. And I currently actually have the Forms um, plugin already required. All right, and then we need a Quest Form action. Or we need an action on the form. All right. That looks good. And you know, I don't know if I need a post action. It doesn't say I do. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. All right, now we add our form fields. So I already have form fields, but I'm gonna go ahead and follow kind of their, make sure I have all their required um, attributes. So each field needs a name, a unique name. So let's test that. I've got a name, name of email, name of message, and name of agree to terms. So that looks right. This is this is my form. Okay. And now I need to add our validation rules. This is one of the things I really like about Quest Forms is that they make it super simple to do very cool um, validation. So. I'll go ahead and just use the rules required 
for all of these right now, just so we can take a look at that. So I'm gonna replace the browser required. Didn't mean to do that. And then it says, send your first submission. Awesome. So, if I have this set up correctly, it should recognize when I send this first submission. Put my name in here, email, and let's write a message. Read to the terms. I did get an error, which makes me think that I might need that post method. And then I th actually, <clears throat> I did not have spell kit running in the first place, so. Let's go ahead and rerun my spell kit dev. There we go. This is kind of what I was expecting. I was a little bit, um, thought it might not work when I didn't have this sort of message. So this just, this is coming from quest forms, which means that we are connected. So let's just, um, Last name, let's do email address. Email me there if you want to, it works. Read to the terms. Um, and so you can see this is lighting up green. This is, this is the validation. So if I were to remove the full name, this validation is all coming from quest forms. Just from this, uh, these rules required validation because awesome. validation kind of sucks to set up yourself all right let's submit the form there we go it wants me to set this domain as a live or a testing domain since this is just a testing domain i'm going to set it as a testing domain and we're good all right, now I have this notification that says this is in test mode, which is perfect. And we can, we can even view our submission. So this is the submission we just put through. Everything looks great. Awesome. So we actually have the form set up and working right now, but I want to take it one step farther and put this in a, a component of its own to where we can reuse um, sort of the form itself with different form fields and I want to make the idea of the form um, dynamic. So to do that I'm going to go my source I'm going to create a folder called lib and inside that I'm going to put a folder called components and inside that I'm going to make a file called quizform.c And I'm going to sort of just migrate this, everything I need for the quest form into that file, which is everything, not everything, the, all the script variables. And then I'm going to move this form tag.
we're going to have a slot. I believe I can just do the single tag like that. Close my form tag. And then I want to have a couple of sort of props that are going to pass through. So one prop is going to be this ID right here. So I need to change the way that this is wrapped. And now that I've done that, I can kind of put my variable in the string here. I'm going to call it the form ID. And then I'm going to go grab that, say export let form ID. I'm going to pass that through. Is my with my quest form. So for testing purposes, let me actually get that value again. Let's see if it's in here. Hmm. You know, I'm actually not sure how to get that value again. I bet I could go through the steps and just grab it. Here it is. All right. This dollar sign lib is just a Svelkit shortcut to your lib directory. Okay. So let's see, let's see how we're doing so far. I, I know I need to close my form tag with the quest form. If I've done this correctly, it should work. Or it should still work. We're still loading this, which is perfect. Let's send another test. Okay. Looks like we're looks like we're good. Let's see if our test came through. Okay, it did. So the real test here is to have a different form using the same component. So I'm gonna put a different form here. I'm just gonna keep the same form fields, but let's add another form. So this form is going to be called um, do a thing. And we've already done this step. We've already in npm installed our quest form. We already have our classic quest form. We need this new ID. that we've got we have our form fields I'm just going to grab these just for pure demonstration purposes all right so now we have new another a new form field Validation, yeah, we'll go ahead and grab this field with some validation on it. Basically says a max of 220, 255 characters. 
All right, now it's waiting on us to submit it. Okay, so this is that second form. And you can tell because this one has not been submitted to. I will say that Waldo is submitting the form. Submit. Thank you. And let's see if we have that form submission. It looks like we do. Here it is. All right. So, I mean, that's really it. There is, there's, there's more that you could do here, but this is really just a simple way to kind of set up uh, a quest form component where you don't need to um, you don't need to install import the quest form on every page that you're going to use a form and you can just pass through the form ID and it will knit it on mount so hope you enjoyed the video do all the all the stuff if you liked it and have a good one